Hello there guys, welcome to another gameplay uh, with Real Madrid. Um, before we start this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone. We have just reached over 100 subscribers on this channel. Um, it's crazy really, I didn't really expect it to do so well. It was just something that I wanted to sort of play and just share with you guys, but thank you so much for it. Um, yeah, we're going to continue with this game. We, we actually started to do really well. We beat Barcelona away in the new Camp. <clears throat> We've been on a really decent run. And I think that's down to the majority of the transfers that we brought in. This next game that we're playing now is a Spanish Cup game against uh, Castellon. They're not that good, so I've basically decided to have a real change around with the team. This is the team that I'm going for. I'm trying to get a lot of those players that have just come in um, sort of in the team. I've put Debski on the bench because I want to give him a go. And I also want to get this guy on at some point as well, Stefan. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm fairly hopeful, but you know, you never know after so long out and not playing the game for a while. Um, <clears throat> and it may seem a bit weird to you, but actually I film these all in one go because, I mean, Championship Manager is quite addictive anyway, so I'm just basically, I play on Saturday night, plough it out completely, and then um, I upload those videos like on a set throughout the week. Obviously going back to work now as I'm a teacher as well, that's um, that's something that's been quite tricky, so... Anyway, good goal there, Kennedy. First goal. Um, looking good, looking strong. And um, hopefully we can make easy work of these guys today because I don't really fancy going to a replay or anything like that. Uh, yeah, both of them. Two new players, two new midfielders. Um, <clears throat> right, I think I might actually start to bring uh, someone on at half-time. I think I'll give Debski a go. Because uh, I really want to see what this guy can do. I'm quite excited by this guy. Uh, he seems like quite a good talent. He's 16 years old. I've actually put him on loan at the moment with um, a possibility of someone taking... Oh, there we go. He scored in his debut. Uh, with someone taking him, um, hopefully just for like a season, just to sort of build him up and turn him into a man, really. Uh, let's get that other guy on now. I'm going to leave Hossif on because he's done really well. We'll take Solis off. Um, yeah, he's quite a good player as well, though. Solis, I do like him. He's got he's got his pace. He's got his attacking flair, which um, which is what Real Madrid are really. <clears throat> That's what their principles are all have all been based on over the years. So, yeah, okay, three one win. Good start. I'm trying to very very quickly get rid of that um, because we've got Zaragoza in three days. That's another reason why I played a weakened team because I knew that game was coming up. Um, we I mean they've just been beating three two at home there, but we've got a new record there. Also getting Samba. That's something else on a free. Um, I thought I may as well get him. His contract's running up. I thought another 16 year old. I mean, if anything, the future is bright. Do you know what I mean? If if this game continues for however long, we have got talent all over the show, really. But this game by no means is going to be easy. Um, Casillas goes back in goal. Um, we've got Cannavaro as well. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, the the team that we've we've sort of brought together. He's actually an incredibly strong team. Vieira defensive mid, Kerr in the centre, Seydorf, Zidane. Um, so if I just swap those round. And then you've got your two strikers up front, which obviously we go for Raul and we go for Maxime in this context. But obviously there's so many different um, things that we could do. I'm going to put Hierro on the bench. He played well, so he needs to uh, have another chance. We'll bring Kennedy in. And to be honest with you, I mean, there's so many options. I mean, I'm not going to bring Debski in because I think that... I'm going to put Morienta. To be fair, I didn't realise. Do you know what? Sod it. Let's just go all out attacking and just put these players on the bench. I mean, it gives us options by putting three strikers out there. I know it may seem a bit crazy, but... It can't do any harm to have options, surely. We really need to get a goal back here. Ah, 2-0. <clears throat> Excuse me. 3-0. Bloody hell, where's this come from? Do you know what that is? That's because they said we've been on a record run of six games. Obviously, it's going to stop there, isn't it? Of course it is. Never know, though. Kerr's got one back here. If we get another one before our time, it could be game on. Still a lot to ask for, though. We shouldn't be conceding goals like that. Vieira's playing at a five at the minute. You'd expect a bit better from him, to be honest. Um, Casillas is playing a five. Magnussen's playing a five. Yeah, I mean, because we, we actually narrowed the gap to these guys at the top, Celta. 
Oh, we've got Santander. It's two. It's a two leg. Then we've got Barcelona. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to mess around with the team. I think I'm just simply going to keep the same team because they really shouldn't be getting beat here. That's um, it's actually quite shocking. I mean, yeah, Raul's 19. Just looking at the influence on him, just in terms of being captain at the moment. Obviously, you've got Cannavaro. No, he's 18. Bloody hell, did not expect that. Right, I might bring Hosseth on for... Um... Oh, no, Zidane's playing a 10, to be fair. I can't take Zidane off. Look at Casillas playing a fucking 4. Jesus, man. Let's have a look here. Vieira, he's playing shit. I might just shove... No, I'm, I'm going to leave Vieira as he is. Do you know what? I could take... Who's, who else is there? Sadoff's playing a 7. I'm going to take Sadoff off. I'm going to put Zidane on the right. Let's see if he can do anything. Just swapping him over a little bit. Okay, one back. Come on, one more. One more. Come on. <clears throat> no, it didn't happen. Do you know what, though? They... It's one of those games, again, 4-3. It could have gone anyway. He didn't play that well. I'm a little bit gutted with his performance. I know he only cost 275. Um, 1,000, but part of me's thinking, do I just play West? I don't know. I think he's give him a chance. He's 23. One cap for Sweden. I don't know. I, I quite like he's a fast defender. You know, it's... I think, hopefully, he'll sort of grow to be a good player. Um... Hopefully we can see that happening. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play pretty much the same team here against Santander. I just want to ensure that we don't mess anything up. I Me, mean, Maxim's 96. I can always take him out. That's not not to worry there. I'm going to I'm going to put Madeira in to be honest. Who else played bad? I'm going to give these guys another go. I think this is something that could actually boost their confidence because it sh it should be a game that we win quite comfortably. And hopefully that will boost their confidence up for the Barcelona game after. Um, which I am a bit concerned about if they're going into into with this form. Oh, Duff again, man. What's going on? Another goal offside. I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's a two-legger, so you would fully expect to win the home game. You know, that's something that you can sort of take for granted a little bit, but it's it's more the Madrid way. I mean, Vieira again is playing a six. He's playing a seven now. Um, I'm going to have a little look on um, the condition of them in a minute because I want them to be prepared for Barcelona. Uh, let me just have a little look here now. We're on 58 minutes in. <clears throat> this is where changes need to take place. Yeah, Raul. Let's get Morientes on just simply for experience at this point. Um, I'm going to put Hossef on for Zidane as well. Let's see if that does anything. Ah, bloody hell, that's another defeat. This is, um... It's not going too well, to be honest with you, especially with Barcelona. I mean, to, I mean, this next game could change everything. Beat Barcelona, we're back into it again. But, yeah, that's not good. That is, That really isn't good enough for me, that. And I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, we Luckily, we do have another leg, so... That's something to, to prepare ourselves for, but we shouldn't have to prepare ourselves for that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that video there. Once again, I'd like to say a massive thank you for 100 subscribers. Yeah, you guys have been amazing. Um, I've loved playing these games for you. Yeah, let's just, let, here's the 200. See you guys later.